Hello, best friend, and a welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time that you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian, and I welcome you all with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So, girl, my glasses are crooked. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me. Girl, listen, you know what happened? I fell asleep on them, and look, bitch. Mm -mm. This side needs Viagra, bitch. Damn, I don't know how to do this, girl. And I'm scared that if I, like, push it too much, it's gonna break. But anyways, bitch, let me focus. Uh, 33 seconds in. 33 seconds in, and I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. But welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday. Happy beginning of the week. I am so grateful and thankful to start it off with you guys. And let's just jump into it, because we gotta talk about Selena Gomez, Justin Bieber, and Hailey Bieber. Listen, best friend, I just wanted to say that, you know, ever since the Bieber announced their pregnancy there's been a lot of things sent to me okay a lot of people have a lot of tea and a lot of things are being talked about now i want to just let you guys know how i do this okay when there is just like you know when there are headlines and actual articles we talk about it when there's you know very big blind items we'll talk about it but when it's just things that you know I don't have really any proof because there's a huge rumors going on right now that I'm gonna I'm looking into it. I hear it and I see your guys' comments, girl. But I don't want to give you just like you know lies. Do you know what I mean? I want to have something you know that I can say. Okay, look, this is out there. Take it with a grain of salt. But when I when I feel it in my heart that it's just straight up lies, I don't like to put that on my channel, best friend. So you guys know I am the debunking queen. I like to spill tea, throw shade, keep it real, but you know, not, not do too much of the bullshit, bitch, okay? Like this, for example, did Selena Gomez know about the pregnancy of Hailey Bieber? And did Selena Gomez uh, uh, limit her comments after the Biebers announced the pregnancy? Let's talk about this because that's the latest rumor that's going around. And I just wanted to talk to you guys about this because, I mean, it all, it, it literally just takes a little bit of research, bitch. Google is free, girl. Now, I will tell you, best friend, sometimes Google is not your friend because, you know, especially if something is hurting and you're Googling, bitch, girl, don't do it. Z don't, don't do it. Don't do it, best friend, because you are going to give yourself a panic attack, okay, bitch? Drink a melatonin, get a chamomile tea, watch something on the TV and just chill, all right? But listen, best friend, so um, people are saying that Selena Gomez uh, basically limited her comment section after the Beavers announced their pregnancy. That's bullshit, best friend, because Selena Gomez had literally took her comment section off Instagram a while ago. I think what people are getting a little confused about is on May 2nd, Selena Gomez did an interview where she was talking about mental health and, and all of these things, and she mentioned about uh, her comment section. So this is from May 2nd. The Biebers announced their pregnancy days later. So she just had to say about this and said that, um, whatchamacallit, um, I think I've created boundaries to help me. Um, basically, best friend, that, you know, the the way that people like to put the words, like, for example, look at this. Um, the actress explained her decision to limit her Instagram comments to only the account she follows on the Today Show just days before her ex, Justin Bieber and Hailey Bieber, revealed their pregnancy rumors. So some people are trying to say that she limited her comment section because this was about to come out and that somehow she knew. Um, and she said, obviously, people fussed about it. Her limited her, in her uh, comment section. Um, so she's been doing this. This is not the new best friend. I mean, she literally did this like months ago. Okay, so I just I this is the one thing that I really cannot stand is that you know I get that people want to make Selena Gomez always look a mess. I mean, no, I don't get it, but I understand that this is what people do. When it comes to Selena and Justin or Haley, they always want to make Selena Gomez like the unwell one, like, you know, she can't handle it. People confuse her being honest and raw about her mental health and everything she's gone through as a sign of weakness. But in reality, it's quite the opposite. It's a sign of strength, okay? When you choose to be transparent with all of your struggles and everything that you've been through, that is called being brave. That is called being an inspiration. And that is called being a survivor because 
the opposite is, you know, uh, just kind of saying like, poor me, poor me. But what does she do? She has, you know, her, her um, you know, she's a humongous mental health advocate. She has a rare beauty impact fund. You know, she does not just talk about it. She does something about it, right? So I don't understand why people are so obsessed with wanting her to make her seem like she's devastated or that she's so sad and depressed and she can't handle it. And that's why she posted the picture with her and Benny and this and that, blah, blah, blah. Now listen, best friend, you know, I feel like, how does Selena Gomez feel about this? Well, let's see. Someone also said that Selena Gomez liked Hailey Bieber's post. So I'm gonna actually check that out with you right now. Because again, best friend, I like the truth. I don't like bullshit. I don't like it. It makes me uncomfortable. I like, listen, I love headlines. I love a good headline, but I love to, you know, anyways. So the, um, the post was, uh, four days ago and it has 10,783,000 likes. Um, but let's see one of those 10,700,000 blah, blah, blah likes is Selena Gomez. Uh, Selena Gomez, best friend, did not like Hailey Bieber's comment. And I also read that people are saying like, well, Selena Gomez follows Hailey Bieber. You know, how come she, you know, how come she didn't like her, her thing? I feel like this is so obvious, best friend, but like the only reason, and Hailey Bieber and Selena still follow each other, the only reason that they followed each other was because Selena was wanting the public to leave Hailey Bieber alone. So she thought by her following her, it was sort of like a sign of peace, right? But that does not mean that they have to like each other's posts. Now, Haley has been known for liking some of Selena Gomez's posts. For example, I just want to see if she liked the last one. Hang on. No. I'm just trying to see if she's if Haley has liked any of the last posts. No, she hasn't liked any posts this month. Uh, I believe the last post she liked was like. Hang on, I'm trying to find it real quick. I think it was her and her sister. Uh, hang on. Yeah, I think it's this one. I think the last post that Haley liked, yes. Haley liked this post. You guys, uh, girl, I do all the investigation. That was on March 29th. That was the last time Haley Bieber liked a Selena Gomez post. Selena Gomez liked uh, Haley Bieber's post, like, I think almost a year ago when they started following each other, just like a sign of peace, but that's it. So listen, no, she did not limit her comment section because of this announcement. Now, did she know that this was about to happen or be announced? Maybe there was rumors or, you know, things circulating because obviously, you know, Gigi Hadid is close friends with the Kardashians. The Kardashians are close friends with Gigi. Gigi is close friends with Haley. Hey, 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 you know, Haley tells the things to the Kardashians. The Kardashian might tell the things to Gigi, and then Gigi might tell everything to Taylor, and then Taylor might tell everything to Selena. So maybe Selena knew, you know, in the Hollywood Hills it was being secretive, but I don't think that it's something that she really cares about. I feel like, do you really care about what your ex is doing? Like, I could, I could, I could care so less what anybody from my past is doing i wish well and that's about it you know what i mean so i'm just like i don't i don't i don't i don't see why people want to like cack you know kind of put selena gomez in this like bubble of like you know her eating oreo cookies and like just obsessing over justin and Haley. She is booked, blessed, and busy. She is, you know, on so many shows, her music, her beauty, her boyfriend. Like, she doesn't need to be sitting crying over an ex. Now, did did she feel anything? I mean, probably she felt like, you know, something. But that's normal, right? Like, Justin was like her first real boyfriend. So, it, you know, maybe she felt like, oh, well, you know, congratulations. But it's something that it should not go more than that. Do you know? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Actually, you know what? I'm actually kind of curious to see if Benny Blanco liked Justin Bieber's uh, announcement because I know that they're supposedly be, you know, supposedly friends. So I'm just going to take a look. So Justin's has 15 million likes and I'm going to see if Benny, no, he didn't like it. Benny Blanco did not like Justin's announcement. So I don't think they're I don't think they're friends anymore. I don't think that there's a connection between any of them and I think that's perfectly fine. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from all of you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support. Thank you guys so much for all your comments. Thank you for all your love and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.